Mm. I wonder what happens if we put a couple of those and one of these with one of these in one of these. <laughs> yes, um, I think that could be quite a bit of fun. Uh, I got this yesterday. It's brand new from Fraser, the manufacturer, and well, my idea is to mod it. So, yeah, I basically bought a brand new one for no other reason than to mod it. But I looked on eBay and you know I couldn't find any others, and so well, they're quite a decent price for early for what they are. But um, there is a couple annoying issues with these, and it's only sort of a recent thing. But uh, I had one of these probably the lower down model a couple of years ago and they had a thumb throttle and it was actually had proportional control um, but these new ones they look like they've just got a single that doesn't twist very far and it's only like on and off control so that's a bit of a shame but that doesn't matter because I'm going to rip all that off anyway and put on my own uh, throttle to work with the new controller <coughs> but yeah this thing uh, stock it has two 12 volt 7 amp hour SLA batteries and it says a 200 watt motor on the side but I believe it's actually a bit more I think they're just saying 200 watts because that's kind of the legal limit in Australia but yeah I don't know if these actually fall under that classification because they're not designed for on-road use I think the 200 watt limit might be for on-road uh, unregistered or unlicensed vehicles but you know I'm not sure but you can see, I'm trying to reduce some of the glare here. Got a. Uh, this controller is actually a bit weak for the motor I'm looking at, but it's small enough. Like this, this model down here is kind of what I need, but it's it's bloody massive. Basically, it wouldn't even fit underneath the uh, bottom compartment in there. So I'm probably going to have to go with the smaller one and just modify it, like. Um, put some more fets in it and just halve the shunt resistance or something to trick it into running more current because the motor if I can find my mouse here it is yeah it's quite a serious motor as you can see down here power rating 2700 watts um, yeah, 70 amps it's designed for um, 10 series lithium batteries but I'm going to use 6 just because it's sort of closer to the original voltage and well the packs are cheaper in general so yeah uh, at this motor speed at that voltage I should get around 40 k's per hour max speed on this thing um, but that are just that's sort of just a flat ground based figure and it'll depend on friction and air resistance and all that kind of crap so but yeah this thing's gonna have a lot of torque 2.7 kilowatts versus 200 watts <laughs> yeah it's actually going to be kind of scary and I'm just originally planning on using two of these for now uh, so what are they yeah, 5 amp hour so that'll give me 10 amp hour because I'd put them in parallel um, which is still what, 3 amp hours more than the original so that'd probably give me around half an hour of run time at sort of a not full throttle I mean full throttle you'd probably get three seconds of runtime but at a sort of more reasonable rate maybe even 20% of the motors capacity yeah, it suspects of that so yeah once I've got a bit more money I'll order that stuff and this thing can get modded <laughs> um, I'll take the top off and we can have a look how much room and the current setup and stuff in there at the moment so now we've got the deck off this thing um, you can see there is actually a fair bit of room in here for uh, modifying stuff so basically what you've got is just the two SLA batteries here in series 12 volt 7 amp hour each um, down there is the controller uh, it has a heat sink on the top and it calls itself an electrical bicycle controller <coughs> but Seeing as it's only a single speed throttle, I don't really see why, why it even needs a controller at all or even has a heatsink on it. So I suspect 
they're just using some stock controller case and there's probably only like one or two relays in there just to turn the thing on and off basically so that's kind of odd <coughs> um, actually it'd be two relays because one for the um, for the actual drive and then there's also a separate cable here coming from the brake to disable the motor when the brake's on so um, it's good it has all that already because it means that I don't have to touch the brake at all I can just use the brake lead straight into the new controller um, obviously I'll have to replace the throttle with a, a proportional one but these handlebars are the same it's sort of a standard size between old bikes and stuff so that's really easy to fix so and apparently all these connectors are actually standard too you know like this standard throttle connectors and so that's good as well <coughs> um, so here's the little motor and it's covered in crap already from just a day of use but it's just a little 200 watt brush motor basically um, chain driven uh, I believe it's a 25 chain number 25 so that should be strong enough for the new motor I mean it's well it's a chain so it's strong um, <clears throat> so basically what I'm going to have to do is either come up with a custom bracket that comes down here which the motor can mount to because it's an outrunner which means the back of the motor actually spins so you have to mount to the motor from the front which is alright for this because you know the front's the best place to mount it because of the stress on the um, on the chain there but um, I've seen one guy that's modded one of these he actually gutted this motor out and then bolted the brushless motor actually into the front of the casing of this so just use this motor as a mount um, I might do it that way but if I can figure out a better way just maybe some angle some thick angle bracket or something that would work as well then I don't have to ruin the motor I can use that for something else um, I think they work pretty well as generators actually so might be worth hanging on to. I <coughs> um, believe it has a band brake down there so it's not really good but it's not too bad either. Um, the controller I'm getting has uh, regen braking anyway so it's not going to rely on the brakes too heavily since the motor will be doing most of the braking. Um, I believe it's a 5 to 1 ch um, chain ratio so yeah that's how I calculated the speed and the um, acceleration which at full at full motor power the acceleration of this thing would be about I think it was 6.3 meters per second per second so it, basically this thing would go from 0 to say 28 in about a second which is you know ridiculous you wouldn't be able to hold on at all not to mention it probably just rip all your chain out and rip your handlebars off and everything so um, the controller has current limiting and speed limiting so what I'm going to do is let me this thing, is have a microcontroller um, that talks to the actual motor driver through a uh, serial interface so then what that can do is the motor as uh, the microcontroller I can set like a current limit and a speed limit which will reprogram the motor controller for that limit and what that'll let me do is have sort of low and high power modes so you know if I get someone that says oh I want to have a go and they're a little you know I'm not exactly the skinniest person on earth so if someone else like a lot lighter than me comes along and says can I have a go you obviously don't want it to have as much acceleration um, because it'll end up doing a backflip so it'll be good to have sort of adjustable control like that <coughs> so what I'll probably do is have an LCD up here it's just when I get my laser cut I might be able to cut a bracket or something and have an LCD which will be able to tell me like the battery power and you know temperatures and stuff like that so um, it's actually quite a good platform to mod because all you have to do is just rip all this stuff out rip that motor out chuck the new motor in chuck all the control in and you're done basically you don't even really have to modify the the um whatever the word is for this thing but yeah um, if you wouldn't have to anyway because this this model here is the um, largest model they have which is rated for 100 kilos right away um, in reality the frame itself and the structure can support a lot more than uh, 100 kilos um, so the actual limitation is just the motor 
um, with me on it. it it goes all right on flat ground but any sort of hill or anything it just it won't do anything so with the new motor that'll change and I'll be going up the hills at full speed so <laughs> yeah I can't wait for that uh, but yeah I'll just that'll be all for now I suppose um, seeing as it's the 1st of December tomorrow I'll be able to do a video of the um, lights out the front of the house so probably turn them on tonight even though it's a day early just because I can and they look awesome but yeah, um, I'll keep you updated on this. It's just sort of a fun mod, not really practical for much since it's not street legal, but you know, <laughs> gotta have a bit of fun. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll yeah, keep you updated and I'll probably do a video of the um, Christmas lights at some stage in the next few days. Alright, thanks for watching.